Hey everybody, this is Jade on Piano, where we make music make sense. And today we are doing Cassandra O'Neill, um, Come Thou Fount, in its entirety. Last time we were here, I got started, some wild thing. You know we have adventures every week, it's almost a mixed bag, and I don't know why everything's perfect before you guys come. Here it is, whole thing, I'm recording it just like it is, but I'm going to start from the beginning so you have the whole thing in one video. So we need to listen to the track really quick. We're going to start with that and then we will jump into it like we normally would with the uh, key and everything else. Here's the track now. <coughs> Now we need the key. I'm gonna hum the note just like I did before again. And I'll and I'll be if, if you're watching this as a premiere, I'll be in the comments with you. If you're watching this after that, you'll see uh hopefully you'll be able to see all the comments that are there, but or in the chat. So here we go. We're listening for what key it is first. <coughs> That's enough. The hum we hear is this. Hmm. Let me go back and play just that much so you can hear what I'm saying. Listen to this. And I'm going to hum that note again. You hear that? Now, I'm going to hum it again and pick out the note. See? I always, I'm, the only reason I'm starting on the C, unless you have perfect pitch, you would have it right there. The only reason I start here is because it's in the middle of the, the piano and we're used to, and used to and familiar with where middle C is. So I'm going here and that's our key. Now that we have our key, let's get the number system. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one. Here's our numbers or chords. One is a major seven, two is minor, three is minor, four is major, five is dominant, six is minor, seven is a half diminished, and we're back to one. So those are our chords that we expect. Let's see how close we are to that. Here we go. <coughs> Let's get the bass in the middle. Okay, so we have that's what we have, and then we are, I heard this. Okay, now let's hear, so here's what's going on so far with the bass and the melody. Nice, isn't it? Now, we, we've been playing whole chords, so let's listen to the whole quality of the chord. <coughs> First of all, just with those notes, this says dominant. That says some type of four, but we'll see. This says three. Let's see if that's what we hear. And then that says four. But we said dominant. We're expecting a major here. We're expecting a minor here. And we're expecting a major here. Let's see if she's stuck with that. <coughs> so you hear that? That's the chord that goes with it. But this would be major. We don't hear that. We hear this actually. And this is what I hear. And the key for me is to not play this too loud. That's tucked in there. So, so I actually have to hit this harder than this. That that's hard to do. Controlling 
your hands to do that? And this is what I hear. Now, this is a major chord too. Well, how is that so? It's first inversion. It's not the position. See that? Those two are root and then we get to our four here. Right? We've got all of that. Let's keep moving. Wait, let's let's play it with it. Or try to. <coughs> Now this is where we were at. Um, we're hearing either we're trying to decide if that B flat is a minor seven or minor. Nine. I think it's a minor minor nine. Let's get more. So let me get my pedal in. Let's see if that chord's right. I think this is what I'm hearing. Let's let's play this chord with it, with her. Let's try that again. I gotta get to it because it's. Notice that. Why was I thinking this? This is what I heard plainly. I heard this as plain as day. But it's like, what's following with that? And we went here. Now, we hear this part plainly, but do we hear this part plainly? But this leads here, right? We're really hearing a diminished chord, but it's taking us to the A flat chord first inversion. Why does that work? Well, if you look, look at this. We would expect something like that as a leading tone, and we just did the same thing with the melody note. That's real nice, I love that. So if we had the leading tone here, like it's supposed to be, that's what we would expect, but this was in first inversion. Something like that. If this was in this inversion, um, <sighs> I guess I'm calling this third inversion, considering we start here. We could do that. And then back here. Oh, we need, we could do this one as well. Or, and then we've got this one. That's the one we used, or either one. But she used this one. That's beautiful. Let's listen to that little piece again. So, what do we have? And then we had um, okay. Let's see what's going on with it. Oh. Oh, not that E. Hold on. Let's try it again. There's something. I think there's another note. Let's hear. Listen again. So that's tough. Wait, what's the chord? We 
heard this and then the rest of it. Listen to that go in the middle. We hear this. Okay. So. Oh. Notice the subtle difference. Listen. You either hear this note cut through or you're hearing this note cut through, right? So we've got uh, okay, back to that one chord right there. nice isn't it so uh, we're here okay mm. crunchy let's try it again Before I go on, I want to check that two chord again. I know. I want to check if it's the A flat or the uh, G flat. I think we've got. Yeah, okay. Chord crunching. Oh, it's higher. Wait, I was in the right register the first one. But there's something else in there, I feel like. Let's see. So listen to that track. To So we hit this. Dun. So I hear the A in there with this. What else is in there? What's jumping out? See if it's that. That's just. It might just be that. Let's try to hit that with it. Ooh. One more time. I'll try to hit it with it. Do the G flats in there. Let's check. Oops. And then we go. Shh. 
she resolves it to this. See if we resolve to the A flat. We really gotta think about this one. Let's try to resolve both of those now. Let's go back. What is this? So first we started here. It's acting like a two to five still in our key. She just altered some notes in the chord. Let's keep going. So we have melody, and two of them were not even over chords. I think we hit the G there. Inversion again. Look now, listen to how she voices this. So we were here. Oh, hold on. Let's get it. She jumps up an octave. I heard that. yet that chord is going to be tough is it the four up high See, that was deceptive. So instead of going straight to it, I, it didn't, it sounded totally different up there to me for some reason. That was like a brain fart. Notice how she's up here? We're nice and low. Listen to that contrast. Okay. We got to hear the whole thing. F is not in there. You hear that? Mm -hmm. 
So, I want to play that with you. Just that chord. Okay. down from four that was beautiful nice and simple wonderful love that what do we have so hold on let's go back and, and just soak it let's get it okay so um, we had here that's what we're at with that okay now we go on Let's catch this whole thing. This is going to be interesting. Does it start on a single note? Whew, hold on, this is tough. Let's go ahead and slow this down right here because hearing that little bit is tricky. Okay. Okay, so we, we were on the five. Let's try to get the exact notes of that. So that or the diminished. So. that late B flat, you hear that? Uh, sorry. You got that? 
So you hear me, if if a chord, if I already know the chord like this, that was in my vocabulary. Notice how I jumped straight to it. But this chord that we're on, I hear this note, oh, that note, and you hear me picking out the notes one by one. Once I have it, I focus on the next one. So I'm using the knowledge I have, and I'm using, or I'm gaining fresh knowledge as I'm going. something lower though let's get it let me go back further let's go See if I put it like that, if that helps it. Now, mm, listen to that. I'm going to play those two chords with it. Let's see if we can hear that together. itself is not new it's just this voicing notice not super spread out um like i said between an octave an octave and a half she went a full two octaves there see that a little bit over which is cool but totally attainable for either one of the hands you know this is an octave here and this is an octave here so totally but listen to how much she packs into that Well, no, I'm gonna leave it right there. Let's see what's next after that E flat. Okay, I gotta speed it back up because I don't hear that half those half note transitions. We need to get that. Okay, so something with the D flat. that again though. Hear that. 
So not a D flat. You hearing how how that changed as soon as when we sped that up. Now I'm I want to put that in there, but here, look at what this is. It's a D flat chord. It's a D flat dominant chord, which is a little bit cleaner than thinking of this as a B chord. If I was thinking as a B chord, this would be a flat five or sharp eleven. But right here, it's a D flat. Notice, let me let me play it again so you can see. See how the big thing right there says B six nine uh, sharp eleven. But then not even moving my pedal. Well, if I reset it, sorry, let me go back. look right in the small print of it now, you see that B69 sharp 11, same chord, but now it's recognizing a different bass. So as she's moving through this, we were here, that's just giving us a, a D flat dominant right there. Whew, that's beautiful. Let's see where we go next. Hmm. And this goes great because what's happening here? We're here and you expect a D flat nine to go to, you expect that, again, we talked about uh, a week or so ago, two weeks ago, about how we're when we have a dominant chord, what is that the five of? So D flat is the chord. So um, if we know all our keys, we know that D flat is the five of G flat. One, two, three, four, five. Right? And that's where we get the D flat seven. Well, what does it lead to? It leads to the one. Or it can also lead to the, the deceptive cadence, which is the six, but we're thinking of it leading to that one, right? The key that you're in. So when we're here, she went here. Look at where we went. We expected it to go to here, and lo and behold, we went there. Brilliant voice leading. Simply brilliant. One of the things I really love. So we went, uh, and I thought it was here. You hear that subtle difference? Sorry. Uh, she rolled off the C flat. Beautiful. Woo! And then she hit another one. So let's try that again. Uh, but let's get the voicing of that. We're going to go with these. See that? We were here. Uh, And, and notice she's not stretching she's coming off that maybe holding on to that still okay now where's it going from there Yes. Love it. Hold on.
So, remember when we very first started, we started that. First, we did this at first. It's the first two things we played. First three chords. This time she dressed it up. The same part of the song. And that says F minor 6 right there. Um, I think you can't see that fully. But we'll set F minor 6. Uh, it's saying F minor 6. So that's the key point of what I'm trying to say there. Um, because we have the interval of a 6 right there. Okay, here we go. But we need all that goodness. I'm going to go ahead and slow it down so we can get all of those notes. Because we're still trying to see how this connects. And it's lost and tied up into that phrase somewhere. Let's slow it back down. Three fourth or three quarter speed. Go right there. Let's get all those single notes. two notes, maybe three. No. I'm going to slow that even down even more because we want those notes. They mean everything. Let me do that again. I think we had that D flat in there. Okay, so I think we got it. Again, she went from here, jumped straight here, still an octave, not difficult to, to grab. Oh, oh let's speed it back up a little bit so we don't lose. We got those single notes. Let's get back to the rest of it. Now, why did I jump straight to that? Because I happen to know this chord. And when you hear what you already know, you can jump straight to it. guys can't see that let's let's there we go sorry about that I don't know where it decided to go I don't think it left too long ago but let me put all that there so you can see it um 
Oh, here. I was showing you F major. But then it had the F sharp in it, so I went to it like that. Just rolled in, and then this is F is here, but then we jump to the dominant 7 with a sharp 9. Where's the sharp 9? That A flat that's on the top. So, okay, that's what we, what we have with that. It's a little thicker. See that? The first time we went, this was the bottom note, but this time, bringing that in down there. Wonderful. Let me get the whole, the whole speed here so we can hear it. Two. Okay. Uh, nope. That was tough. I'm trying to hear it in my head. What's next? So. I think that's why I'm getting lost. I think it's that's it. Let's see if that's a D flat chord or an F minor chord. listen sometimes several times that was a familiar chord but it didn't jump out there it is because sometimes if if you're playing these parts a lot is and this is extra soft you're gonna not hear that as well okay at the end here too. we did earlier so she's just using this B major to go to the D major it's almost like an inner horsing of a plagal cadence a plagal cadence is four to one what's four to one it's 
instead of that, she tacks this on to it. Adding this to this, it says A flat minor 9, but if I played it without this note in here, it sees it as a major 7 with the uh, 13 in it. Okay, so, so that's a major 7, but it's got this voicing right in the middle there. So, we have this whole thing, it was a short little piece, but she used that theme a, a couple of times where she went here to here. This is another thing she used a couple of times. And the second time to make it richer. See, that thickened it up. Uh, this one here was nice too. Right? That was, that was really nice. So... Check this out. This was a really cool thing. Um, looks like when I'm live or not live, it only took me like 45 minutes to get through this whole thing. Um, but again, there were there were times that we got a little bit extra practice in when we're going live because everybody's together. Um, we didn't get a full live experience today but we got I may have to try the premiere a few more times if we figure out what's going on crazy things happening when you record you know it's so much easier live streaming if you didn't realize it's hard because equipment has to be doing right setup has to be right content has to be right you know everything has to work right now but when you record if you mess up you can cut stuff out you can edit stuff in I've tried to keep this as authentic as possible just keep the camera rolling just like I would do if it was live and give you guys that same experience so if you enjoy this you know if you have <coughs> excuse me if you have extra questions since we weren't live um, feel free to email me at jada on piano at gmail.com um, if you like this I heard some people say that they liked this or wanted this particular song for a while uh, inbox me uh, tell me songs that you've uh, or send me songs that you've considered in the past I'll check them out see if we can get them done here I gotta choose stuff that I can uh, get a good breakdown of an amount of time you know if it's super super thick we may not have a lot of time to deal with that in that way but I may start dealing with that on um, some of my uh, on my patreon or something like that but we'll see so anyway uh, you guys take care and I will see you next week.